Okay, so some of the technological factors. Obviously, there's been software enhancements, both on the databases, EDI, which is the business-to-business -business, uh, interchange. EDI has been around for a very long time. I mean, let's not put lipstick on a peg. Commerce-to-commerce, -commerce, EDI, it's all basically the same thing. It's just, it's just the vehicles that have, uh, have changed. The technology framework for it has changed. It still fundamentally does the same thing as it did 30 years ago. It's just better, faster, more efficient, more transparent, and more companies have access to actually talk now on those EDI platforms. So it also has meant that that's evolved ERP systems to make sure that their platforms are open. So Cispro has that. We have that. It's called E.NET and it's called XML, allowing for the quick integration of Cispro <coughs> into other systems or customers or suppliers via e-commerce platforms or directly or EDI direct, direct ordering, direct conversations. And if I can do that, I'm improving the efficiencies. Both that I'm communicating with my customers and with my suppliers. So you can also see that manufacturing software has developed a lot during the 1960s and 70s. And it's evolved. And of course it would evolve. That's one of those things. You know, I remember growing up, climbing trees in the afternoon was fun. So you try to tell a kid of today to go outside and play outside. They'll say, my Xbox, my PlayStation, it's a reality. The more you provide someone, the more <laughs> they will look to want in those areas. Okay? <coughs> So where is sufficient? Sufficient. <laughs> so it evolved from inventory tracking systems. Inventory tracking, I want to know where my stock is. It's stocked here, I've moved it, I've issued it, I've consumed it. And then companies said, well, what I'd like to do is I'd actually like to do a little bit more. I'd like to actually control my production with that inventory. And then companies said, that's great. What I'd like to do is integrate my purchasing into that inventory. So that's the evolution that came from the 1960s and 70s. And it evolved into material requirements planning software, which stands for material requirements planning, MRP. And that is a software-based production planning and inventory control system used to manage manufacturing processes. And all that MRP is trying to do is to answer one simple thing. Given all of your parameters for supply and demand, this is what I recommend that you do. This is what you should buy. This is when you should make it in order for you to meet the demand of orders, forecasts, etc. So that's what MRP does. So again, it's another module. So I'm beginning to show you how business, real business functions out there and how that translates to the modular features and functions within an ERP system. Then MRP2 took it further and it looked at manufacturing resource planning systems. And then that evolved into this term which is called ERP systems. Incidentally, the term ERP was coined by Gartner itself. It said, we've evolved. We've evolved from MRP2 into ERP. Then all, and then all MRP2 systems decided to say, oh, we are ERP. Okay. So it's just an evolution of the concepts of what it's trying to actually deliver. Okay? And in ERP systems, there was materials planning, there's order entry, there was distribution requirements. All of those were components of it. 